The Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure virtual race, less than two weeks away now. A lot of participants will walk in their neighborhood to raise awareness. As WPTV News Channel 5's Tanya Rogers reports this afternoon, breast cancer survivors who belong to dragon boat paddling teams will be just a few of the walkers. Great weather and plenty of sun. These ladies are enjoying the water. They're paddling dragon boats. They're breast cancer survivors. We just support each other. We talk about things. We get athletic together. We talk about healthy ways to you know, survive our illnesses that we all have in various stages. Each of them has a story. Joanne Ambrosino was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2018. I was in shock because I'm very athletic. I eat healthy. I was I couldn't believe the news. Um, my aunt had had it, but it was just a small uh, lump. More than 20 years ago, Martha Chanel was diagnosed after running in a Susan G. Komen race. I raced on Saturday and I went for my mammogram on Tuesday following it. And um, sure enough, without any signs, um, no lump, nothing that I, nothing palpable. Um, I was diagnosed with very early stage breast cancer. Now the ladies and their teammates are joining friends for the virtual race for the cure on January 30th. Racing where we are, as they say. So my friend Lisette's also a warrior. She's on my dragon boat team. She's lovely. And we're going to join up together. So I think it's the awareness of um, how important it is to be regularly screened for breast cancer and um, just to be mindful. Tanya Rogers, WPTV News Channel 5. To register for the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure, just go to WPTV.com slash Komen.